Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the first. And I just cut the deck. I just take this deck out of my drawer. Didn't look. I just cut it to the Empress and the Tower reversed just now. So the Empress, the Empress is the birth of a new life. Uh, it's a birth. It's a baby, you know, uh, something new. It's unconditional love. The Tower reverse may be a permanent loss. Major disruption, unavoidable change. The Empress does everything with love. Major disruption. So there is a disruption. It's unavoidable. There's going to be an unavoidable disruption. But it's a necessary evil because it starts a new life. You know, it's, it is. So there's a, a new life that comes from this disruption that's unavoidable. I think my eyes look green today, don't they? Wow, must be because of my sweater. Anyhow, what do we have? What do we have for a message today? The world. November 1st. Right around November 1st, you know, the time he's fluid. The world's major completion of a cycle. The end. The end of a journey. The end of a phase. Something big. Something big has come to an end. Something that really affected your life. Okay, it's a major completion of some sort. We have, so far we've had three majors, so there's un the universe is driving a change, forcing a change. Major completion of a cycle. Could be a change of residence here. This could be, um, well, it's definitely leaving something behind. Somebody's journey is over that journey, that cycle. Ooh, emperor reversed. May have to do with the father, could also have to do with the mother because the empress is a mother. This is a father. Let's get another card to go with that emperor reversed before I go any further. What is this emperor reversed? Ten of Cups reversed. So that's an unhappy relationship, an unhappy couple, a dying dream. We have a masculine energy that, ah, permanent loss of an empress. Or maybe feeling very disgruntled over his empress. You know, there's upset. The Tower reverse is upset. Extreme, extreme, you know, any card in reverse is extreme. So there's some sort of extreme uh, disruption, internal disruption, or there's been a fall from power. There's been a fallout. There could be a fall. There could be a fall, a period with if tower reversed. Abuse of power, perhaps. Um, emperor reversed. Ten of Cups reverse, really not happy, dying dream, um, relationship problems. Mm. The end, the end, the end, the end, the end. Six of Cups reversed. Six of Cups is, is memori memories, uh, reminiscing, thinking about love, feeling love. Um, we may have somebody here that is really in their feelings. You know, they're thinking a lot about the memories or they're thinking, they're reminiscing. Maybe somebody wants a reunion. You may have an individual that is very angry. You know, they're angry, they're upset. The, the world card is a completion though, it's the end. Stepping forward, stepping into new territory. Congratulations. That cycle of your life is over. 
Maybe there's been some abuse. I don't know. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is a, is a self-sufficient individual who has worked hard to obtain success. You know, so we have one very strong, determined individual who is probably enjoying life, right? This is single, grateful. The storm is over. There has been stormy weather. Somebody's experiencing their own inner storm. I feel like we have a masculine energy that is in experiencing their own inner storm, you know, because next to the uh, Emperor reverse, the Ten of Cups reverse, the rainbow's upside down, so it's stormy. Really feeling disruption, internal disruption. There is somebody here that is very strong and independent and successful. Perhaps the relationship has ended because the Ten of Cups is right next, reverse is right next to the Nine of Pentacles. We may have somebody here that is deciding, they've been indecisive to end a relationship, you know? Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. So the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity for success, for stability, for security. This is something that is solid, something that is real. You add that to the Nine of Pentacles, this you know, it makes Ten Pentacles. That's the ultimate abundance. And I feel like somebody is going to be getting an offer because I keep looking at the Six of Cups. Somebody is going to be getting an offer from somebody that they know. They know this person. You know, somebody that they, I don't know if they've had a relationship with this person before or there's some sort of connection there. Nine of Pentacles, single, enjoying life, very independently owned and operated. The Nine of Pentacles is not in a relationship. We have a person here that is not in a relationship because they've been abused, probably by a narcissist. Maybe somebody's leaving a narcissist. The end of a cycle. Congratulations, that cycle is over. You're about to, or somebody is, about to get a golden opportunity. This is a new doorway, it's a new investment, it's a new path. This is abundance, this is the pathway to abundance, right? This is the pathway to financial security and stability. This is a gift from above. So somebody is about to receive an opportunity that leads to the Ten of Pentacles. This is, a, we have an individual here that is very self-sufficient. This person's about to receive an opportunity that equals the Ten of Pentacles. It does. That, this is the ultimate abundance. It is. This is like a happy home, a new business opportunity, a new relationship, whatever it is. Somebody is getting something that they can hold on to. This is, an, this is something that is real, that is solid, that is stable. Queen of Cups reversed. Let's get another card to go with that. We have somebody here that's not really giving out love. There's a lack of emotional support or I don't know <laughs> oh, my face I'm sorry Ooh, hermit hermit is thinking re-identifying soul searching somebody is seeing something they're seeing the light they're seeing they're they've been or they're going within and they're thinking they're thinking about themselves they're thinking about themselves. It's right underneath the Nine of Pentacles. The Hermit is a very individual, and so isn't the Nine of Pentacles. We have somebody here that's really thinking about what their heart wants. Nice to the Queen of Cups, reverse. And they haven't been emotionally fulfilled. This is emotionally disappointing. You know, they haven't been getting the love. There's no love. There's no love. There's no emotional fulfillment here. The Queen of Cups is right under the Ten of Cups, reverse. Queen, Ten of Cups reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. They're, they're right next, they're, they're above, up and up and down. I am going to get another camera here soon and another tripod soon. I don't know when, so don't push me on that. So that we can uh, see both. Um, it's on the list. <laughs> um, 
If anyone wants to send me the money for that, feel free. <laughs> Sorry. Anyhow, um, uh, hermit, hermit. That is going within, soul searching, thinking, thinking about what the heart wants. Shedding some light. Somebody's going to be shedding some light on a situation. Seven of Cups, seeing very clearly what the best option is. Regain, gaining some clarity. Somebody's been confused. They've been confused. They've been, maybe they were unsure. You know, they had multiple options, but this is becoming clear. It's coming out of confusion right next to the hermit. Definitely, we have somebody here that has gained some enlightenment. They've been thinking a lot, you know, going within and thinking about their future thinking about their future abundance, right? And they're feeling really uh, unstable and insecure and uh, they're feeling internal disruption about some sort of change that has been avoided. They've avoided change up until now, but now the disruption is so great. It's extreme. Seeing very clearly what the best option is. There's clarity here. Somebody's been confused. They've been in some sort of illusion with the Queen of Cups reverse. That's illusion. Emotions all over the place. Overwhelmed. Ten of Wands reverse. I wanted to get another card for the Emperor reverse. I got the Ten of Wands reverse. This is a this is a breaking point. It is, and we talked about this yesterday. This is making a conscious change to find balance, to gain balance, to have success. The Ten of Wands reverse is underneath the world re upright. So the, the tens are completion. So we have two tens and we have the world. So we have a major completion here because the world card is the biggest completion of them all. Okay, it is. Somebody has experienced something that has taught them a lesson about themselves. Maybe they're in an unhappy relationship because that's what it looks like with the Ten of Cups reversed. Somebody was in an unhappy relationship that taught them something about themselves. Nine of Pentacles is about self-worth. Okay, it's about value. It's about worth. We have a very uh, capable individual here who has chosen probably to be alone or is choosing to be alone. We do have a choice that's being made with the Seven of Cups reversed. You know, somebody may be choosing or they're choosing just to focus on something that is more abundant, you know. This could even be job related. Somebody may be deciding to, you know, start their own business. The Nine of Pentacles is like a business owner, somebody that is very capable of success. Um, whether the, this is a business situation or a relationship situation, this is somebody that is capable of independent success. Okay, and there is somebody here that has been holding on to something that has been weighing them down. It feels like it's a masculine. It's right next to the emperor reversed. This has been weighing them down. Okay, but in reverse, it's letting it go. It's dropping the weight, dropping the baggage, dropping the burden. Um, freeing, freeing, freeing themselves. Somebody may be freeing themselves from something. You know, they may be deciding to let something go. They've learned their lesson. They're ready with the world card. They're ready for success. They're ready for the next phase of their life. You know, this is a new phase that is beginning because that, that previous phase is, is over. But holding on, somebody has held on. Now this is letting go. It's letting go. It's stepping forward. Seeing very clearly what the best choice is. Ooh, eight of cups. Goodbye. The end. This is a necessary alteration, right? It is. It's like I got to, it's emotionally disappointing. And I can see that with the queen of cups reversed. This is saying goodbye. Somebody is definitely saying goodbye to an emotionally disappointing situation. They've seen the light. They've gotten some sort of epiphany. They've come out of confusion. They've made a choice. or That's what it looks like. There's been some sort of indecision. Maybe, I don't know, maybe because avoiding challenge, avoiding change. I mean, we've had the tower twice. And maybe somebody didn't want to move. You know, but moving is imminent with the tower reversed. It's like, it's in, it is, it's like you're biding your time. You're just wasting time, right? 
it's gonna happen. It's unavoidable change. Somebody may be moving, it's a painful change. They never saw it coming, you know? I feel like we have a painful change that is coming. Saying goodbye, walking. It's like coming out of the darkness and headed towards the light because the Eight of Cups is headed right towards that hermit which is holding the light. So this is headed towards the light. This is a spiritual awakening as well. I feel like we got somebody here who's had some sort of spiritual awakening. They've gotten some sort of pif an epiphany, right? Um, they want stability and they want security. They know their value, they know their worth. It's like they just see, all of a sudden, they see, tower is very sudden, okay, and we've had it twice so far. Okay, all of a sudden they see their worth, you know, they see their value because the Nine of Pentacles is very valuable and the Empress is valuable. She knows her value, okay? I'm not sure if the Empress has caused somebody some sort of disruption because we saw that at the beginning. Saying goodbye taking a time out to go within. Somebody may be headed in your direction. They've made a choice. They've thought about it. They, they, oh, I got the King of Wands on the bottom, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're about to take action. This is somebody that uh, is fearless, making an approach of some sort, making a decision, taking action, finding their strength and their courage and, uh, to do something very strong, doing something brave. Taking control, somebody's about to take control of a situation. Ooh, now he's reversed. I do it all the time. I shuffle, 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 and then it's just the way it goes, okay? So, King of Wands, reverse, but this is somebody that may be, mm, maybe doing something impulsive. This is extremes, though, in reverse. Extremely scared. He's He's been scared. Clinging to control. I feel like we have anger here as well. I feel like we have somebody here that is angry. They're angry. They've been confused, maybe even manipulated, emotionally manipulated with an individual that uses emotional blackmail. I don't know, the Queen of Cups reverse that feeds illusion because the Queen of Cups reverse is right next to the Seven of Cups reverse, it's illusion. Delusion, delusional. There's some sort of delusions here. Two of, pen, two of swords, torn. We have somebody here that's been torn. Now we got a card that fell out. It was justice reversed. It fell right out. Uh, but anyhow, torn, torn in two different directions, held back by fear. There's been some sort of, you know, painful choice. Somebody's been trying, but they've been delaying it, right? They've been indecisive. It came out reversed. Somebody's been indecisive about a choice, about it. They've been torn, torn in two different directions. There's some sort of divided loyalty here. But we also have somebody that hasn't been honest, okay, with the justice reverse. This is dishonest. They've been dishonest. They haven't been telling the truth. They've been hiding something. Um... Indecisive, very indecisive, confused, confused. But that's in the past. We have somebody here that hasn't been telling the truth. They've been lying, they've been lying, they've been trying, they've been working, 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 trying really hard to deny, deny the truth, deny their feelings. But that's in the past because we go from past to present to future. So presently, this person is angry. They are torn. They are thinking. 
they are uh, becoming clear of a choice. Um, they know, they do know, I think that they know what the best choice is, but they have to replace that fear. They have to replace that fear and take action. Okay, so what's the overall outcome? We have a strong, independent individual here who is receiving an opportunity. Ooh, what's the overall outcome? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. This is having it all, sitting pretty, pleased as punch. This is congratulations, you know. This is... Uh, so so happy with the with what you got extreme happiness is the overall outcome so somebody seeing clearly will bring them abundance the next card after that is ten of cups upright so this is extreme abundance so somebody is um walking away into happiness they're in they're walking away into wish fulfillment They're going to be sitting in on a, I feel like it's a throne. I feel like there's also some sort of recognition that is coming. There's some sort of recognition. The world card is mirroring that nine of cups. It feels like we have somebody here that is going to be getting some sort of recognition, maybe even public recognition. Um, there's some, some, some sort of public, public something um, here. Maybe even an award or being put on a pedestal. <laughs> we have somebody here that is watching. They see somebody's skill. They see somebody's ability. Six of Wands, Six of Wands is public recognition. Some sort of recognition is coming. There is, there's some sort of public recognition that is coming or being put in the public eye. There's admiration, there's admirers here. This is victory after sorrow. This is a win, this is a yes. Okay, we have somebody here that is finding their confidence. This is a very confident individual that is all done playing games. Okay, all done competing. The war is over. The battle is over. This is heading in a new direction towards wish fulfillment, towards happiness, taking action. Congratulations is, is really, I don't know where, the world card is congratulations. The Nine of Cups is congratulations. This is congratulations. This is the end of a cycle. It is. Congratulations. You, the battle is over. You won. You won. You win. You win. Congratulations. I don't know. There's some sort of congratulations here or being put in the public eye or publicity or something like that. Walking away leads to respect. It leads to happiness. That's what it is. I've got the Eight of Cups, Six of Wands, Nine of Cups. Okay, the Six of Wands is, is victory. Okay, it's a win. It's you win. This is a winning. It's, it's accolades. The Nine of Cups is accolades as well. Congratulations. Yay! Somebody's going to be getting an offer that increases their stability. There's going to be an increase of money. Somebody's going to be getting an increase because they make a very wise decision. The emperor, I mean, the, well, the, uh, the emperor's here, but that's in reverse. The hermit is wise, and then the seven of cups reverse is, is the decision. Somebody has seen what they need to see. Okay, they've seen what they need to see. Okay, they've seen it. It's a wise decision. This is something that... We have a very skilled individual here that is about to receive an offer that increases their, I don't know if it's their popularity or what, it increases their money because of the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles or the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, there's going to be an increase. We have somebody here that is, is in a position of authority, I do believe. This is a leader, okay? The Six of Wands is a leader. This is somebody that 
does make decisions. This is like the director or the 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 commander or the uh, one in charge, you know, person in charge, the man in charge or whatever it is that is making a decision about an individual that they were probably exploring options. Now the choice has been made. This is wish fulfillment. This is a dream come true. This is a star. Somebody could be made famous. There's some sort of star fortune fame here. Fame a couple times. A star is a star. Okay, so somebody may be getting some sort of fame or getting some sort of uh, accolades for something. But anyway, this is a card. Again, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's a dream come true. So isn't the star card. So somebody's dream is about to come true. And it's because they... And it's a shock. It is a shock because the tower is a shock. And we had it twice. It's unavoidable. It's an unavoidable change. You're about to be surprised. Or somebody is. I don't know if it's you or me or whoever it is. I don't know who it is. Somebody's about to be shocked. They're about to be surprised by an offer or an opportunity, because the Ace of Pentacles, that can bring them abundance. They're about to be, this is the path. It is the path. It's the pathway to abundance. So somebody is going to be given an opportunity that leads them down the path to abundance, okay? But they'll have to replace that fear, because we have blocking, fear blocking. King of Wands reversed next to the Two of Swords. So that's this is a, this is a big decision. It's a life changing decision. Okay, you if you if you want to let fear block you from abundance, well, that's too bad for you. Or you can be the king of wands and the upright and take it. You can replace that fear. You can just do it. Have no fear. I feel like we have somebody here that is about to step forward. They're about to step into unknown territory. They're letting go. They're making a conscious change. They've been indecisive. They've been blocking. They've been blocking. That fear has been blocking them. They've been blocking their feelings. They've been cold. They've been maybe even naive, you know, um, emotionally unfulfilled. Um, exploring options that were not giving them what they needed. But now it's like seeing, seeing very, very clearly what the best choice is. The battle is over. The battle is over. The Six of Wands is the battle is over. This is the end. It's the end of a battle. Congratulations. I don't know what that means. Congratulations. I just want to keep saying that, right? Nine of Cups, that's, that's the ultimate wish fulfillment. You did it. You did it. There is support. Somebody is going to be receiving support. They are. They're going to be receiving support. Or they're going to be receiving an offer that really makes them happy. It's what they asked for, right? It's what they wished for. Good luck. 